Jetliners are basically flying homes. It's a sealed pressure canister. It's incredibly strong. It will last practically forever. I'm Bruce Campbell, and you're inside the cockpit area of my 727 home. I can appreciate that some folks might feel a bit isolated or that it might simply strike them as an unusual living environment. But for me, it's always felt completely natural. My entry is via the aft air stairs, which are retractable and are retracted whenever I leave for an extended time. The aft area of the aircraft now is my living space. My very primitive shower is located there. The two natural aft laboratories are both functional. Sleeping quarters are there in the form of a simple futon sofa and a bench where I spend lots of time embellishing elements of the aircraft. Jetliners retire at the rate of about three per day. For the most part, I think, we shred them. And then we spin around 180 degrees and make a home after having just shredded an aerospace class home size structure. If you were an extraterrestrial looking down on this behavior, you'd wonder whether this species has all its marbles in place or not. People have asked me whether it crashed here and I simply restored the wreck. That's an odd thing to hear. It's, it's completely impractical. Next time you're in a jetliner, close your eyes for a moment. In your mind, remove all the seats and all the other people, and then open your eyes with that vision and consider the, the expanse of the living room. It, it, it's a good environment, it really is.